And first things first then, how, how are you settling in at Bristol Rovers? Uh, yeah, good. The boys are fantastic. Everybody around the club's great. Um, made, made me feel really welcome and obviously it helps with uh, a couple of wins and uh, grabbing a goal on Saturday. Yeah, is that, a, is that a little monkey off your back? Is it good to get the first one off your off I think your... it always is really. I think you, you, you'd be lying to say you know, that, that it didn't matter. As a striker, you've got to come in and score goals, but ultimately I want to play well and I want the team to play well. Um, if that happens and the goals will come and the goals will come for the team and um, you know, at the end of the day you need the three points. And a last minute win always puts supporters on a high, you know, um, is it the same for the players, have you been extra, extra that morale booster because of what happened on Saturday? Sort of, um, I mean I thought we definitely deserved three points on the, uh, on the Monday against Forest Green if I'm going to be honest and you know we played well first half um, Saturday um, but I think you know teams in this league aren't just going to roll over and let you go and do the same again in the second half. Credit to Halifax, they came out, we knew they were going to be strong, they were a strong side, big powerful side um, and you know they, they asked a lot of questions but I think on the whole I think we deserve the three points anyway, I might be slightly biased but um, but yeah it was great obviously to get the win but I think it was nothing more than we deserved uh, over our last you know efforts over the last couple of games. Mm, I'll, I'll be honest I don't know an awful lot about Braintree, um, can you enlighten us on what kind of opposition would they be? Look, they're, they're a very strong side. Um, You've, their record at home is fantastic, it always is. Um, they're a well drilled side. Um, the manager gets them very organised. Um, they're big, strong, a little bit like Halifax. Um, you know, and over the past years, looking back, there's been a number of teams that could have gone and won the title there and they've turned them over 2 and 3 nothing. Um, so, look, they'll be, they'll be very strong on Saturday, very drilled, very organised, um, do everything, you know, properly. and It'll be a very tough game. It'll be a very tough game. And, uh, their pitch isn't, you know, we're playing, we're playing there, at possibly a good time of the season because you know over Christmas time, um, they'll be the first to say sometimes their pitch doesn't hold up and they get a lot of games cancelled. So um, I've already been there once this season, pre-season. Um, it's a bit more of a home game for me, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to quite like that one, I think. Um, but yeah, it'll be a tough game. Yeah, and how important? I mean, the fans will see Braintree. Well, that sounds easy. Um, how important as players is it you take on Braintree the team and not Braintree the name? Well, that's people who don't know this division could possibly turn around and say that, but you've only got to look at their past record, as I say, uh, against the top teams, um, and they are by no means easy and one of the tougher teams in this division. There, I don't. There isn't an easy. There isn't an easy game, um, and I think you'll look at the end of the season. Although there's one or two that haven't picked up that many points yet. You know, it'll be. It's always been strong relegation-wise. Very rarely is there one adrift. There has been one or two in recent seasons, but you know, it's always strong getting into the playoffs. There can be a number of teams getting in there. A number of teams can normally win it, and a number of teams can be fighting at the uh, at the bottom end of the table. So, you know, three points, a point, um, anything, uh, you know, away from home um, turns out to be a good result in this league. And seven games coming up in September alone, so a chance to get a number of points on the board and continue the climb up the table. Exactly, as I say, you know, you've only got to get a couple of wins and a draw, and that will just shoot you up the table. And um, you don't realise how vital a point here and a point there are towards the end of the season. Um, I mean, last year with Cambridge, we were, you know, we went on a great run at home, um, won most of our games at home, in the, especially in the first half of the season. And we knew that we only had to go to some places and you know pick up a win away from home and then a draw away from home and it, it would have us right up there with the points tally we wanted. Um, obviously we didn't win the league in the end but we got to where we wanted to be um, and it, it's just important to pick up as many points as you possibly can. And the longer your run goes on uh, you know the better it is when you come start looking at the table in January and you know work out where you can uh, what points you can get and where you can finish. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Um, just one from me. I mean, uh, the last two uh, performances have been good, haven't they? Um, against two teams you'd, you'd imagine will be you know, there or thereabouts at the end. Does that give the players confidence that uh, perhaps they, you know, they can compete in this league at the, at the, at the top end? Because, I mean, obviously I'll, when they lost at Altry, I mean, there's bit of people who are a bit concerned. Yeah, definitely. I mean, as I say, anybody can beat anybody in this division. And they can really throughout that, all divisions really. 
it seems a silly thing to say, but you know, I think as you go further down the leagues, fans and people who haven't been in this situation before think, oh, well, they're at the bottom of the league, they must be rubbish, and it, it's not the case at all. Um, um, I think, yes, we can gain great confidence because there's no doubt Forest Green will be up there. There's no doubt that Halifax will be up there, same as they were last season. Um, so, yes, we can take confidence, but um, I think we've just got to uh, look at ourselves, really, um, play well ourselves and let everything else take care of itself.